Hello everybody, Jordan here, and today we've got another video for you guys, and today we have an EasyJet Airbus A321 Neo LR. Now, recently, EasyJet had converted 30 of their A320 Neo orders to the larger A321 Neo LR, and ended up doing this. Now, what's a cool thing about the A321 Neo LR is that, as you can bet with the LR, it's, you know, longer range, but it also has a different exit configuration for a higher density of seating. So, as you probably have already noticed, there is not an exit right here. It just skips to overwing exits, and then a rear exit, and then the aft exit there. This livery is also in the Neo livery for EasyJet. They've done this with the A320 and now they've done it with the 321 where it basically states Neo towards the rear of the aircraft and then it has another Neo logo at the front of the aircraft. This is an EasyJet's newest livery where it just simply states EasyJet right there and it's a, I'm sorry, with an orange stripe that swoops down and then swoops back up and states EasyJet right there. It also has sharklets on this aircraft for a maximum efficiency. This aircraft is equipped with Leap 1A engines, which is slightly different to the Leap 1B engine seen on the 737 MAX, but it's accustomed to fit the A320 Neo family, as you can see. And we can start with the basic show around of the aircraft. It's nearly identical besides the engines to the other A320s. We have the nose gear of the aircraft, the underbelly beacon light. We have some buttons as well on the underbelly for other detail. We have the landing gear doors, which will retract and allow the landing gear to be, you know, stowed away, if not. We have the rear of the aircraft. We again have the Neo logo at the back of the aircraft. We have the rear exit with a little bit of a device right here. And then we have the horizontal stabilizers as well as the auxiliary power unit at the back of the aircraft, as well as detail for the stabilizer trim so that the stabilizers can, you know, trim. We also have a beacon light on top of the aircraft as well as overwing exit designs. Now, it's a little different because depending on where you are or what region you're flying, the overwing exit design on the A320 family can be a little different. Sometimes it's black coloring, sometimes it's red as you can see right here. So we have the overwing exit design, we have the slats right here, some wing detailing, we have the flap track fairings on the underside of the wing right here. And as I mentioned previously, we have the sharklets right here as well. We also have a wing light right on the uh, side of the wing right there, as well as the landing gear. And um, yeah, we also have the nose. Okay, so we are now in the interior of the EasyJet A321. And what's pretty interesting is that EasyJet has configured this aircraft to seat 235 passengers. Wow, that's a lot of people. So yeah, now the aircraft is specially modified to accommodate this and to meet with regulations, but it's all economy on board EasyJet. So as you can see, it's just, you know, kind of black or dark gray seating with kind of an orange headrest and whatnot. So towards the overwing exits, excuse me, towards the overwing exits right here, we can continue on and towards the rear exits back here. We have a lavatory right here, so yeah, then we have, you know, we have some exits back here and then continuing on we have more lavatories at the back of the aircraft and we have the rear galley for the flight crew to do their work and whatnot and uh, I'm assuming this would have Airbuses, you know, kind of, it's not, it's not, it's cabin in, I forget what they call it, but it's basically Airbus's own sky interior design or something. At the forward section of the aircraft we have a little bit of a, uh, closet right here and we also have the flight deck of the Airbus A321 and it's identical to pretty much every other Airbus airplane we have on this channel so we have the side six rudder pedal panel we have the uh, main flight control panel as well right here we have the throttle quadrant another side six the first officer sits here the captain sits here and then we have the overhead panel as well uh, I didn't call this an MCP because I don't believe it's actually called that it's I think it's just FCP probably I'm wrong I need to stop talking another thing I'd like to mention is we have the cargo bays at the underside of the aircraft so here's the forward cargo bay of the aircraft and if we move to the back of the aircraft we also have the rear cargo bay so your bags and cargo can be transported with you when you sit on board your two 235 seats God! Anyways, that's pretty much all we have for this video. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Smack the like button for more Minecraft Madness and check out all my other videos and subscribe for cool content like this. If you like our join, if you would like to join our server, we have the IP on the screen right here. Just, you know, enter it in and it's mostly a show round or a plot world and you get to interact and scream at us. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Jordan. See you in the next episode.